If you were a teenager or 20-something in the late 90s or early 2000s, chances are you remember these. The lightweight, colorful pants produced by Canadian-owned Modrobes were a rave and streetwear staple. The founder and owner Steven Saldebas sold them far and wide, even bringing them to Woodstock in 1999. This is my selling domain. We've developed so much demand by the way we've marketed the product they were finding it hard to sort of keep up. We're not the perfectly, efficiently flowing company. Like so many trends, the Modrops craze did not last long. The bus sought bankruptcy protection and shut down the company in 2003. But that wasn't the end of the story. Six years later, a lifeline came in the form of a cash injection from Dragon's Den. You have to leave here with the money you asked for. So 200,000, 100,000 of it equity, and 100,000 as an operating line. The bus tried to rebrand Modrobes as eco-friendly performance wear. But that did not last long either. The new incarnation of Modrobes was short-lived, and the bus soon moved west, and on with his life. In the summer of 2022, he put the brand up for sale, and caught the attention of a long-time Modrobes loyalist. My husband, um, he was a Modrobes superfan. Um, I have been with him for 18 years, and... Every so often, he would tell me and remind me how great they are. So Alex had seen this announcement, and he said, could you imagine if we owned Modrobes? And uh, my jaw dropped because I thought, you know, you think he would choose us? He did. That's how Alexander and Zoe Curry from Sexsmith, Alberta, became new owners of the brand they loved for so long. And they aren't the only super fans out there. The amount of joy and, and feedback that we get from Canada, it, it almost gets me emotional at times. Um, it's an amazing thing to bring an amazing thing back to my country. We never thought that we could make Modrobes better. Um, we just wanted it back. We knew that you know, there's fans like Alex out there who had loved these pants for so long and wished that they could buy them again. Retail experts say that relying on sentimental appeal alone might be risky. I think that that nostalgia factor and the brand awareness from uh, those of, you know, in the mid-1990s when Mod Robes was a big brand, that, that I think could propel the brand to a certain degree. But I think for any brand to succeed, say, in the next 10 years, you're also going to have to cater to a younger demographic that's going to be growing up. The Curries do have some ideas about expanding Mod Robes appeal by seeing how they'd perform as workwear. They're also launching a kids' line. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Mod Robes. I really, really hope this is successful. I, I really do. Now, in their second year as owners, the Curries say business has been good. But turning a profit isn't their only goal. It's not about trying to get rich. It's just trying to have something to be proud of. Dennis Cofton, CBC News, Grand Prairie.